Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. I think we're fairly close to being able to go down to the catacombs, but before that we need to get the Spider Venom Antidote. And for that we need to speak with Faustus down in the sewers, or an alchemist. And for that we apparently need to decipher whatever this strange thing here is, the cipher, with the help of the frog. I dreamt of a lake last night, and of drowning, and of a mouse, and of drowning a mouse. Well, happy to see you too, Carol. And now here you are. I'm told you have a key for the sewer gate. Oh, a key. Maybe I do, Mousy. Maybe I do. What are you doing? Winking. Am I not winking? No. How about now? Ah, I never could get the hang of it. Anyway, the key's in my chamber bot. Wait, really? It wasn't there before. Oh god! Oh no! It is now! Alrighty then. <clears throat> Thanks, friend. <laughs> All right, where is the sewers? Is it here? Too dark. Ah, there we go. Bear traps. Actually, I think I have bottles now, don't I? Do I have sticks? Nah, but I think it's a pretty good use of bottles. Glowy mushrooms. What's that purple gas? Is that coming off the purple mushrooms down there? Hmm. Maybe I... Yeah, I guess I shouldn't bother breaking them. There's too many of them. Oh, I can't pick them. Whoa. They explode. And then they grow back, like, really quickly. Huh. Doesn't seem to have any effect on me. I love the look of this place. It's a really good looking game. Water's not gonna hurt me, is it? Oh, oh! It does? Yeah, I guess if you stand at it too long, it starts to poison you? Or actually, is it the water or is it the cloud of stuff, maybe? I think it's the water? Wait, no, it's not the water. Okay, we're good now that we picked them. What were those death tongues, mushrooms? Yeah, death's tongue. A mushroom unique to the eastern shoreline of Lake Phalia. Probably can use that for some nice potion. So we came from over there, and there's still that door that I opened up there that I could jump across. Looks like the sewer gate key uh, opens like pretty much everything down here, which is really nice. 
Okay, there's a bunch of different ways to go. Let's go back up here and jump across. Oh, whoops. This might be a shortcut at some point. Opens from the other side. Oh, there's something in the water. It's like a big old leech. Ew. Sewers are huge. I don't know where this goes, but I guess I'll just follow it for now. Distillery key. Hmm. So. Does it. It can't seem to see me. Oh, only if I'm in the water. Okay. I see. Okay. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> it's so neat. Look at its mouth. Sounds kind of like a snake. Could go over that way. There's also a ladder over there. I'm gonna get to the ladder. Oh, another shortcut to be opened up, I guess. but it's not too big of a deal. Pew. Oh, hello. This is going to be a problem. I cannot sprint down here and <laughs> on the water. safe here. I thought I had a huge amount of food, and I mean, I still kind of do, but you really do go, do go through it pretty fast when you take damage. Like, I already just ate all my grain. Oh god. Don't fall down. Oh, wait a second. Wait, is this where I think it is? I think we just looped back around to the jail, didn't we? We did! Oh my god! Oh, that is so cool! Well, now I can restock on sticks. God knows I need those. And also oil. Okay, let's see if there's anything back through here. So I came from that way. Haven't gone this way. This might be the entrance to Faustus. I still don't know why once his leak and marrow and turnip. Uh, but I'm just gonna just look at the images and forget the other parts. So one face is down, and the other face is down into the left. Remember, it's the thick part that faces down for this one. Huh. Oh yes, this is definitely an alchemical lab.
Hello, friend. Oh, I want to get a look at this lab. Let's leave the light on. Oh, where does this go? Is this part of the lab, or...? Distillery key. So... Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. So the lab is the distillery, I guess? Hmm. Elevator that goes up somewhere. Not sure where. I saw you, Florins. Let's take the stool over to that little uh, drawer up on the wall over here. Plague Doctor Hat. Part of a new disguise? Didn't bring up anything new, though. Headwear of a Plague Doctor. Uh, gives you slightly better weapon and falling resistance compared to my current thing. But then worse statistics in every way. Can't change clothes while you're near someone. No. Slime jars, yes. The apples look so shiny and delicious. Okay, Faustus. Where have you been? I was expecting you hours ago. Oh, right, they think I'm their assistant. S s sorry I'm late. I was beginning to think the leeches had done for you. Anyhow, you're here now. Scrawny, aren't you? Soft paws, weak arms. But you have a full set of limbs. I suppose you'll do. Let's get to work. I promised the master that this next batch would be ready in time for the wallowing. The Wallowing, an annual ritual held in the forest when the rains have fallen in earnest and the ground is at its muddiest. For three days, creatures of all kinds and of questionable character come together to wallow, presumably. The exact nature of the events that take place at the Wallowing remain a mystery. Indeed, none can agree exactly what it is that the Wallowing is meant to celebrate or commemorate. Some say it represents death and rebirth or the opportunity to bask in one's misery. Others believe it to be a ritual of unity, in which all creatures are rendered anonymous and equal by the mud. What is certain is that fewer creatures that went in ever emerge from the wallowing. Huh. <laughs> Some die during it, okay. And I, Faustus Rot, like to keep my word. Faustus Rot, that's a disgusting name. Definitely got that Plague Doctor mask thing going on. <laughs> it reminds me of Pathologic, the game. I won't <clears throat> I won't let you down, sir. We'll see. Now, I have some matters to attend to elsewhere, so I'll need you to mind the uh mind the still while I'm away. <gasps> Am I gonna get to do my own potion brewing while they're gone? This is a critical stage in the process. If the pressure falls too low, the batch will be ruined. Any leaks in the pot or the pipe must be repaired immediately. Be warned, the vapors are extremely noxious, so work quickly. I'll only be gone a few moments, so I can't imagine you'll have time to get into too much trouble. Back soon. Tend the still. Alright, let's do it. Auto save done, good. Oh god, I don't have much time, there's already leaks? Where? Where are the leaks? Oh, everywhere up here. Oh my god, it's so laggy with all these particles in my face.
Oh. Uh, nothing I couldn't manage, sir. Very good, very good. What is it you're making here, sir? Rugog, a unique brew of my own creation. Rugog, sir? What's that? A potent form of rot gut distilled from fungus, nature's most wondrous gift. I call it Rugog, in memory of my first assistant. What happened to Rugog? Or, no, his name was Rugog? Uh, no, no, he was the first to sample it. The name derives from his attempt to say the word rot gut afterwards. <laughs> I thought it a fitting tribute to his sacrifice. Oh. So you're Faustus Rot, huh? Aye. Or, ah, you've heard of me. Who hasn't heard of the great Faustus Rot? Well, it's gratifying to have one's work appreciated. Now, I have some matters to attend to elsewhere, so I'll need you to mind this still- Oh, okay. I guess we're doing this again. Okay. Um, doesn't seem to be leaking. Unless there's some leak somewhere else. No, I think, think we're good. Or if that's giving us an opportunity to like read this book or something. Can we? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, there's a bunch of slime jars up there. Mouse, I have returned. Did you encounter any problems? No. Very good, very good. Well, let's try to help them and like, you know, scratch their back before I ask them for an antidote for a spider's venom. Uh, what else can I do for you, sir? I'll need you to gather samples of mycelium from the Death's Tongue Mushroom. Seven should do it. I might actually have enough, maybe. Death's Tongue Mushroom. The purple cap mushrooms that grow out there in the sewers. You'll have no doubt seen a few on your way here. Indigenous to the caverns and dark places that line the easternmost shore of Lake Valia, the Death's Tongue Mushroom is so named on account of its purple cap set to resemble the lolling, swollen tongue of the victim, victims of its poison. Take this. Oh! I probably should have been wearing that before. That'll probably protect me from the noxious fumes. You'll need it to protect you from the miasma. Very well. Now go. I have much to do. Ah, and indeed, it looks like I do have all seven. Here you go. You're not a complete fool, then. Suppose you'll want payment. I can't give you much, a few florins at the most. But I have something far more valuable for you. Here. Faustus hands you a worn leather cap, with a curious red candle affixed to its crown. This should prove to be quite useful. What is it? A Saltarian miner's hat. The candle's wax is mixed with salt tar, so it will burn almost indefinitely. The ferrets of Saltar. It would be fair to say that ferrets do not exactly enjoy a stellar reputation amongst the creatures of Pangaea. Then again, most ferrets would tell you they don't care. The Saltarian army, though, prone to occasional bouts of disorganization, remains nevertheless a force to be reckoned with. Ferrets have an effective monopoly on salt trading over Pangaea. Indeed, their mines and salt marshes are reputed to produce several varieties of salts which they use at every opportunity throughout their daily life. Some say this has left them thirsty for violence, but mainly thirsty. <laughs> of course, the vapors that emits are quite noxious. They may leave you feeling drained, so be careful. All right, that will be all. You can go, but I'll need you again once this batch is finished. Hmm. I guess now's the time to ask. Can you help me make an antidote? I see. And what possible reason would I have to prepare you this anti-venom? Ooh, what should I do to try to convince them? I don't feel like they're too worried about losing another assistant, so I'm going to go with the top one. Try to 
hurt their ego and make them feel like, ha, I have something to prove. If it's beyond your abilities, I understand. Beyond my... <laughs> I studied physic at the University of Keem, and I will not... Keem, also known as the Eternal City, Keem is a beacon of knowledge, shining out across the whole of Pangaea, and home of the prestigious eponymous university. It is said the books contained within the walls of the Great Library are so numerous they could form a staircase leading up to the heavens. It is also said the scholars of Keem are prone to hyperbole. <sighs> you have a sample of the venom to work with, of course. Uh, I don't. Yes, I assumed as much. Check the traps that are laid about the sewers. You might be in luck. Alright. Here, for the venom. Glass vial. Thank you. Bring the sample to me. I'll do the rest. Oh, come on. Those are the slime jars, right? It seems like you're not supposed to get them. I can't even get up there. Ah. So I'm curious how uh, quickly that hat makes me noxious and also how bright it is. Let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, terrible stats. <laughs> oh, right. Can't change while I'm near someone. Oh my god, look at the top left. It's... Oh, I don't think it's hurting me. No, it's just like taking up stamina, right? What happens if it gets all the way down? Anything? Okay, so it just hurts your stamina. It doesn't actually hurt your health. Interesting. Well, I guess it could be useful in a pinch. Like if you just don't have any other source of light. The light it produces seems pretty reasonable. But uh, probably not something I want to generally use. How did I get so hurt, by the way? I guess from poisoning from the still or something. Let's eat, uh, well, I've got like a million mushrooms. Oh yeah, I should probably put on the uh, mask to protect me. I could also just put on the hat to try to like, I don't know, match more in with a plague doctor. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool and creepy. I like how it distorts your vision too, so you can't see everything perfectly. Cause you gotta look through the mask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Well, whatever, we're fine. I can just outwalk them. I don't even have to run. Oh. Is that the uh, shortcut, or does this take me somewhere else? Oh, this is somewhere else entirely. Is that like a nasty... They're like... Tilo's like recoiling from wind or something. Seems super windy in here. Yeah, I mean, look at the lantern. Oh my god. Also, there's a spider web, so we're definitely near the spiders. Um, let's explore everywhere else first. Because that's obviously where you're supposed to progress ahead. So, other things first. So, pin up the ladder. That and this and... I forgot, was there more to explore over here? Down just takes you down to the bottom of the pit where you can fall through. 
And this is back to the jail. Okay, so I think we need to go through that distillery place. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Okay. Gotta keep a lookout for traps. Oh. That turn ran out. Yeah, keep a lookout for spiders and traps. Ranger mask. Ooh. Rangers are mercenaries, skilled in tracking and a common sight in garrisons such as Great Burham and Dwindling Heights. The soldiers of the Rat Guard are under strict orders to let rangers go about their business unhindered. It is an uneasy truce. Hmm. So that could be... That could be like wearing a guard uniform where you could just, you know, walk around guards and you're fine, but it looks a lot lighter so you could probably sprint and stuff. Well, I really want to get that set then. Ooh, I think that's probably a shortcut, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. You know, maybe I can take off this mask. I haven't seen any death cap mushrooms. Maybe I just, like, got enough. I don't think I need a light either. Something in there. I think there's a mushroom, like, growing on the skeleton. Sorry, buddy. Crimson mushroom. Ranger's tunic. Torture rack. Okay, let's see. Came from here, so what's down here? Wait a sec. Isn't this just the bottom of this pit that I've already been down? So wait, I've already been in here? I'm confused. I, I guess I've already been here. Okay. I have no memory of that. Well, let's see what's up here. Also, ooh, what's... <gasps> Is that a spider I see? The very corner, the left side of the screen. I see a bunch of eyes behind some webs. I could probably get there. Hmm. I don't know if I want to. Sewer's map, nice. Check that out in a second. Okay. It doesn't look so bad. So yeah, that... See that... Can I use my... No, I can't use my mouse to point. Well, you can see where I'm pointing. My character, the green thing. Yeah, where that spider looks like it is, there's like a kind of a hallway there. It makes me think you can probably walk there. Hmm. Please tell me it's not alive? Oh. Oh, it's upside down. It's dead, isn't it? 
Dead spider. Whew. They're big, aren't they? Oh. Oh. Okay, got what we needed. Wait a sec, we did go this way, right? Well, one's been set off, so yeah, I think we have. Here, I found a sample of venom. Excellent. Now it will take a while to prepare the anti-venom. I'll need, um, three hours. One cannot rush these things after all. Okay, is there anything more I can do to help? This keep. You must know it rather well by now, I imagine. While you're going about, I want you to find me samples of the fruiting body of 12 different species of Bassid Diomycota. Basidiomycota? Basidiomycota. Or, in terms of simpleton, I, I mean a simple mouse might understand. Mushrooms. Okay, I might already have all those varieties, actually. Oh, we're gonna find them. Most prefer the shade. I often find good specimens in the woodland areas surrounding the keep. Look here. Ooh. A journal filled with sketches and notes. Cool. Oh, there's a whole list. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it looks like I have actually gotten one, at least one of each type, but I haven't gotten enough of some of them. I've divided the samples into two categories. The smaller group is nocturnal, blooming only between the hours of 7 and 6. So make sure you take a lantern with you. 7 p.m. to 6 in the morning. Okay. Now hurry, the season's almost at an end. I'm kind of curious what they say to this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're just giving me busy work. Such insolence. This quest is a sacred rite of passage all apprentices must endure. Of course, forgive me. <laughs> well, I don't mind picking some more mushrooms. It was fun. All right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I noticed that there was a part of the sewers that we unlocked with the distillery key that I haven't explored yet, so I'm going to go back there and check it out and then go from there.